Hey guys, if you're watching this series, Making Money Mondays, first of all, I appreciate you guys. You just don't know how much. And I know right now our, our uh, subscription and view count is, is low, but we're just starting out. But the whole purpose of this is number one, I wanted to have some fun, but also to illustrate that there is a way to have your assets or have your stocks generate income for you and still keep your stock or maybe even not buy the stock. Because if you notice, all we've, are, we've done thus far in five weeks of Making Money Mondays is cash secure puts. In other words, we don't own the stock. We're just using our money saying that we will buy the stock. And as a result, we're getting paid for that. Once we enter into that contract, that options contract, we get paid versus us paying. So uh, I just wanna illustrate a, a way that you can generate income. Uh, most people are under the belief that when they get into, get into the stock market, all they're going to do is buy a stock, sit around, and just wait. Okay? There's nothing wrong with that. I have my own set portfolio that pretty much is that buy and hold uh, mentality. But also, one of the things that I discovered and I found, and I'm, I'm starting to get pretty good at it, is how to generate uh, income. And with that income, you can do a lot of things with it. What I do is I just reinvest it. But by that same token, I'm pretty sure there's gonna come a time when I'm just gonna to decide to, you know what? I will truly make that part of my income by withdrawing that money and spending it. All right, so hopefully you guys understand where I'm going with this. Uh, if you're just now watching and making money videos, it makes sound a little confusing. Probably my, my, my number one recommendation would be to go back and check out the very first week, week one of Making Money Mondays. But also make sure that you also have a very basic understanding of how options work. You need that. That's the key. So let's move into week six and let's see what Coach Clark has to say. Thanks. We are undefeated, baby. Yes, we're five and oh, another great week. <laughs> Let's go over the rankings here. All right, the Dow's still in fourth place at 2% return on investment year to date, followed by the S&P 500. They're at 3%. And then you got the NASDAQ, they're still in second place. They're trying to catch us there. They're at 8%. And guess what, money makers? Money makers, we're in first place. Again, we're maintaining our lead. Let's not take the gas, our foot off the gas pedal. <laughs> we, the money makers, we are sitting at a commanding 13% return on investment year to date. All right. All right. That actually equates to what is that? Uh, 1,660 dollars and 57 cents. That's our 13 percent. Last week, we profited 360 dollars and 63 cents. Great job. Let's do a recap lab for last week. Last week, we did a cash secure put and we used SBE, switchback energy. Expiration date 5 Feb with a strike price of 38 bucks. And remember what I said, it's a loss if it closed at 36 or below and it's a win anything above that. It closed on the 5th of February at $40.56. Another win for us. So, without saying, we already know where that money bag is going. That money bag is going to none other than ChargePoint, SBE. Good job. Appreciate you. All right, SBE goes right here. 
this week lead player. I'm tell you guys, we're gonna stick with SDE. We're gonna stick with them until we have to make a change. But right now, everything seems to be working. Cash you could put SBE, and also you know it, it also works with our workhorse. However, workhorse is out of the picture right now because the price has run up too far too fast. And the reason why we're going with SBC SBE is because the volatility is still up and EV is still hot and we're supposed to have some type of uh, news release or press release on the 11th of February and I think it's going to be great news. So let's go ahead and work on our game plan for week number six. All right, guys, you know what to do. Take care of that board. Let's get ready for the game plan. Come on now. That's right. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe buttons, followed by that notification button. That'll help out the channel. Thanks. All right, week six game plan. All right, we're going to continue to go with a cash secure put. It's been working for us. We're going to continue on, on that path. And the player is SBE, Switchpoint Energy. Expiration date is going to be 12 February. Strike point we're going to go with, with 38 has been working for us. We're going to stick with 38. And we're looking at two contracts. Look at the expected premiums. We're looking at about $1.35 a share. And remember, one contract, 100 shares. So we're looking at 200 shares at 135 should come out to about 270 bucks. The available funds that we have is 97.3862. If you're looking at that number, you're probably already wondering, why is it so low? We should be at about over 13,000. And the reason why, we're gonna have a secret play that's gonna cost us some money. So I've already set that money aside for that play. So that's what we have available. The cost of doing this trade uh, it's going to be 76 hundred dollars and since it is a cash secure put we're looking at that being collateral all right the win the loss this is what's going to happen when the win the loss it's still going to be 36 bucks anything above 36 bucks it's a win Anything below 36 bucks, it's a loss. So just keep that in mind. All right. What I want to do is I want to go over this secret play that we need to develop. We need to develop leg one of this secret play. Once we have that, we're going to stick it in our back pocket and we'll use it when we need it. All right. So do me a favor real quick. Let's get the board ready for and game plan that secret play that we're going to put in our back pocket. All right, All right. All right, team. Here's our secret play that is in development right now. This is what we're going to do. The secret play is actually called a poor man's covered call. PMCC. What a poor man covered call is, it's a play where we're going to replicate a covered call. Now, you know with a covered call, to start a cover call, you've got to buy 100 shares of that stock. This one here, we don't have to buy that 100 shares. We're not going to go at it naked because you already know I don't like to do naked. But we are going to do protected. It. It's not going to be covered because we don't have the shares, but there's a way that we can do this, replicate this, and be protected. And that is poor man's covered call. There's two legs to this. The first leg, and that's what we're going to set up, is the first leg. The first leg, we need to buy a deep in the money leap. And we need, it need to be a call. 
The stock that we're going to do this with is going to be Apple. Last I checked, Apple is uh, at $136 per share. So in order to do a covered call on Apple, we're going to need to spend over $13,000. We got a way around that. Still go ahead. We're going to try to replicate that covered call. So what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look and we're going to buy a deep in the money covered call. I've already been doing my research here. Looks like we're going to go with and try to get a 23 March 2023 leap and we're looking at a strike price of a hundred and twenty dollars remember I said it need to be deep in the money that's about 16 points right there we're looking to pay about thirty eight hundred dollars $3,800 versus $13,000. And we're gonna be able to do the exact same thing. Once we secure this, at that point, we're just gonna sit on it and wait in order and wait to use this play. Once we use the play, that's the second leg and the last leg of it. And that is to write a short term covered call. What I mean by short term, we want to go about no more than 30 to 45 days out. All right. So this one here, we're going to wait to execute. This one here, we're going to execute sticking in our back pocket. Does anyone get it? Get it? Got it? Good. Let's bring it on in. On three, make that money. One, two, three, make that money. All right, here's the secret play that Coach Clark was talking about. Really what we're doing here is uh, we're, we're buying a, a leap on Apple. And as you can see here, we bought the March 17, 2023 two years and one month out leap on apple with a strike price of 120 and the cost for this leap was three thousand eight hundred and thirty dollars and sixty six cents and you may ask you're probably asking yourself why with buying a leap two years out deep in the money because apple now is trading at about 133 dollars per share so we're you're talking about this is about 13 bucks in the money a 120 dollar strike price for march 20 march 17 2023 what we're doing right now is we're trying to replicate owning those shares we've got two years for this for apple to start to increase in price pretty much what we're going to end up doing is this is a uh this is a, uh, a a play that we're probably going to have in the future called a poor man's covered call and what that is is you know what a covered call is a covered call is where you have at least 100 shares of stock that you're that you're uh writing a covered call on you're selling options on in order to get premiums now in order to do that you got to have at least 100 shares now 100 shares of apple you're looking at over thirteen thousand dollars where this way here this here is going to replicate uh with this deep in the money leap but the difference is it's going to only cost us about 3800 bucks versus thirteen thousand dollars what's going to happen the way we're going to play this is uh, we'll wait until Apple actually starts to increase more in price. And as it increases in price, the value of the option is going to go up. And at that point, what we'll do is we'll actually start writing covered calls on it. Now, we're not covered because we don't own the stocks. But this is a form of being covered because we're protected. And we're protected because we own a lead. 
if by chance we're if if our short option play is exercise, we can then go ahead and exercise this in order to take care of in order to take care of the exercise requirement of uh, selling 100 shares of that stock. And that's the reason why they call it the poor man's covered call. You don't need the capital of buying 100 shares of that stock if you get deep in the money leap and you can start writing cover calls the same way. You're not covered, but you're protected because you can always go ahead and execute that and uh, buy those shares at set price and then deliver them for, to cover your short option play. So that's the secret weapon going to have it in the books. He's going to tuck it away. We're going to tuck it away. Just keep it there. And somewhere in the future, uh, if everything works out correctly, Apple will start to move up in, in price. When it starts to do that, we'll go ahead and start writing covered calls on that. And we'll be protected by this deep in the money leap. All right, let's go ahead and make this trade for week six of Making Money Mondays. Let's go to our week trade account. All right, here we go. Let's see, let's look at the portfolio. What we wanna do, if you notice, uh, SBE, Switchback Energy, in order to close it out, we can do one or two things. We can let it expire and it will expire worthless, or we can close it out today, which is Friday the 5th of February. If we close it out, it's gonna be four cents uh, or $4 per contract. We have two contracts, so it's gonna cost us $8 to move it, uh, to close it out. But let's do one better. Let's try to capitalize on this weekend's uh, time decay. So let's roll it out one week and see what we can get. So we hit roll. What'll happen here, it'll pre-populate everything. All we got to do is just check it and make any necessary changes. Uh, here, we're going to close out, buy to close those two contracts for February uh, with a $38 uh, dollar strike price. And as you can see right here, it's going to be four, uh, four cents, which is $4 per contract. And here, we want to open up uh, this next transaction here which is the expiration date of 12 February, $38 strike price, cash secure put. And we see that the bid is 97 and the ask is 184. Uh, the, looks like the mid is, we always go with the mid. The mid is gonna be $1.39 credit, uh, which is $139 times two, because we have two contracts. So let's go that. And looks good. We want to good for the day. We've got about 45 minutes left in the day. And we want to definitely do all or none. And if we get this, we'll net $275.34. So let's preview the order. Place the order. And let's take a look at our portfolio and see if things have changed. Looks like it did, because if you look here, SBE, the new expiration date is February 12th, 2021, which is next Friday, a week from today. And it looks like we were able to secure that at the price of $1.42 or $142 per contract. So you're looking at uh, $284 um, for those two contracts that we have. So we rolled today and uh, this week was a great week. And we seen a realize for this week, we realized $360.63 in actual profit uh, for week five. Okay, guys, I need you to listen up. Results happen over time, not overnight. Work hard, stay consistent, and be patient. And always remember, knowledge is not power. It's the application of knowledge is power. 
See you guys in the next video. Take care.